<laughs> Will you come and get it, please? I beg your pardon? No, oh, I'm so sorry, Dean. I thought it was a man coming to collect the bishop's television. Oh, good. He's decided to get rid of it at last, has he? Uh, no, no, no. It's just that it's broken and it's going to be mended. Ah, oh, pity. I had hoped that my recent sermon on the subject would have had greater effect. Oh, was that when you preached on the subject of television being a source of moral infection and an open drain? Haha, <laughs> you heard it. No, I didn't hear it, but the bishop told me that you had said something of the sort. Yes, it was very widely noticed. I had a most warm letter from Mrs. Mary Whitehouse. <laughs> oh, right, Dean. Now, uh, have you come to see the bishop? Uh, yes. Is he in? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I can't wait. I promised my wife to do some shopping for her. We have our niece staying with us. Oh, how very nice for you. That remains to be seen. Yes. <laughs> it means a great deal of extra work, and uh, having a young girl under one's roof is a great responsibility. Is there any message I can give the bishop? Yes, will you please tell him, note that my wife will call on him presently in order to present my niece. Really? Well, mm. look, I'll tell the bishop as soon as he gets back from the staff bureau. Staff bureau? Yes. What's he doing there? Will has gone to get a typist, Dean. Oh, indeed, I can't afford a typist. Well, frankly, the bishop didn't think he could either until he got his bank statement this morning. Then he discovered he got fifty pounds more oh, than he thought he had. Fifty pounds? That won't go far. Oh, well, is there only going to be a temporary typist, Dean? Uh, fifty pounds. That would be better donated to the fabric fund. <laughs> no, I've got to have a typist, Dean. Why? You type quite competently. Well, no, Dean, it's not that. You see, it's the sheer pressure of work. We're doing the visitation returns, and mm. I just can't cope. So the bishop has promised me a girl to help me with the backlog. Ha! Ah, my niece will fill the bill. Oh, can she type? Oh, yes. She is at a secretarial college. But she won't want to work during the holidays, surely. Oh, uh, in my opinion, these holidays are far too long. Young women get bored. Oh, do they, Dean? Yes, then they start watching television, and before you know where you are, there's mischief afoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm afraid it's too late, because the bishop's already gone down to the agency. Oh, unfortunate. Yes. Well, if you'll excuse me, Dean, I really must get yes. off. Yes. I wouldn't find. I... Ah. Note. Uh, yes, Dean? Yes. Where would you buy a tin? What sort of tin, Dean? A large tin. <laughs> well, the ironmongers, Dean. Yes, yes, that's what I would have thought. But you see, my wife has written here, go to the baker's and buy a large tin. <laughs> well, it could be a mistake, Dean. Yes, yes, yes. It is all the strain of this social life. Hmm? Ah, yes. Well, you mustn't keep me here chatting, Newt. Good day to you. <laughs> Pins. Let's go on. <laughs> oh, Archdeacon, I thought you were going to ring bells. Yes, but I thought I'd like to come in for a chat first. Now, I'm sorry, Archdeacon, you can't have any sherry. <laughs> the bishop is up, you see. Oh, where's he gone? Well, he's gone to look for a girl. A girl? <laughs> what ever for? Well, for me. I just can't manage without one any longer. That is that, eh? Oh, yes, Archdeacon. Well, it's the pressure, you know. It keeps on building up and up and up and up. And up. Oh, you've no idea what it's like. I wouldn't say that. Well, if you'll excuse me, Archdeacon, I really must get on. Will we see you this evening? Uh, rather. Uh, I want to see your girl. Oh, she won't be here in the evenings, Archdeacon. Oh, well, gee. Oh, no, no. I'm only going to have her during working hours. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Okay, goodbye, I'll see Uh, television people haven't been yet. Uh, they, my lord, but the dean called. Oh, what does he want? Well, it seems they have their niece staying with them, my lord, and Mrs. Pugh Critchley is calling round to present her to you. Oh, well, she needn't have bothered. We've already met her. Oh, have you, my lord? Yes, she came down here a couple of years ago. And what's she like? A giraffe in a frock. <laughs> <laughs> my lord, I don't think it's very nice to notice people's personal appearance. Oh, well, in her case, dude, it's very difficult not to notice it. <laughs> What I meant, my lord, is what is she like as a person? She is every inch her uncle's niece. 
Oh, ah, yes, precisely. <laughs> well, how did you get on, my lord? Oh, splendidly, splendidly. Today there were an awful lot of people out shopping. Were you successful, my lord? Oh, very successful, Newt. They were very helpful. What, at the agents there? No, 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 at the television showrooms. They were demonstrating colour television, Newt. Have you ever seen colour? No, my lord. Oh, it's very impressive, Newt. They say the reception down here in St. Ogg's is very good. Well, how'd you get on at the agents, eh, my lord? Eh, oh, I didn't go there. <laughs> You didn't go, why not? Well, there was no point. No point? No, Newt. I mean, it's quite obvious. I realise now we can't afford a typist. But what about the 50 pounds? Oh, that's accounted for. But it can't be, my lord. We went through everything. The rates, the electricity bill, the gas. Nevertheless, Newt, there is one expense that we didn't consider. Well, I'd like to know what it is. I'd certainly like to know what it is. Oh, well, well perhaps you'd better answer the door. Oh, it's all right. I think one minute you'll take the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, yes, what is it? Uh, TV, sir. TV, oh, yes, of course. Will you come in, please? Right. Thank you. Ah. Ah, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Well, I saw a new set, sir. A new set? We, we haven't ordered a new set. What, what is it? Oh. Right, it says here, uh, 19 inch colour, new aerial, Bishop of St. Oaks. No, I'm so sorry, I think there must be some mistake. Would you mind? Excuse me, ma'am. Hello? Yes. Who is it, Newt? The television entered down, my lord. He says that you've ordered a new colour television. Oh, right, Newt, yes. Tell him to bring it in. <laughs> well, wasn't it frightfully expensive, my lord? No, 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 not on the easy payment plan. <laughs> I only had to put down fifty pounds. Fifty pounds you put down. Fifty pounds? <laughs> oh, my lord, you didn't. Well, I told you, Newt, there was one expense that we did not consider. But you promised me I could have a typist. Oh, well, I wouldn't say promise. <laughs> yes, you did, my lord. You promised, and now you've broken your word. Oh, don't be so unctuous, Newt. I'm not being unctuous, my lord. I'm not being at all unctuous. I just haven't think of people should keep their promises. Keep your voice down, Newt. We don't want those men to hear. I don't care who hears. I think people should keep their promises. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Do you want this set or don't you? Yes, yes. Would you bring it in here, please? What about the visitation returns? Well, what about them, Newt? Well, how are we going to finish them? Well, you never finish them if you stand there, Newt. So if you're so worried, you better get to work. My lord, there's something I'd like uh, to uh, say. Uh, please, please, Newt. All right. All right. <laughs> right, splendid, splendid. Where would you like it, sir? Oh, over there, please. Just right. over there. Have you a pound for me? Yes, yes, just down by the fire, please. Right, stick it there, Enoch. This is good, then. <laughs> My lord? Yes, Newt, what is it? I'd like you to read this. Uh, what, what's that? My resignation. <laughs> hey. No, what, what does this mean? It means that I'm going upstairs to pack. Excuse me. What? what? But no! No! Uh, uh, excuse me. Just, just a moment. Don't you... No! You can't make like that! Newt! Newt! Let me in at once. The door is open. Uh, oh. <laughs> now, 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 Newt. What is all this nonsense? It is not nonsense, excuse me. But no, you can't walk out on me like this without warning. You should have thought that before you broke your word, shouldn't you? Oh, really, no, it's so trivial. There's nothing trivial about those visitation returns, excuse oh, me. Oh, really, no, I wouldn't have thought you could be so petty. And those are my socks. <laughs> oh, are you sure? Yes, you gave them to me for Christmas. Oh, I, I do beg your pardon, I'm sorry. Thank you. I mean, fancy making all that fuss about a bit of typing, Newt. It's not a bit of typing, it's a lot of typing. Oh, it can't be as much as all that. <laughs> well, you'll find out when you have to do it, won't you, my lord? Uh, excuse me, Ed. <laughs> Where are you going, Newt? Let's talk about this sensibly, Newt. Oh! <laughs> oh. Um. Newt. <laughs> Newt, my boy. Mervyn. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. I apologise. All right, if you want a typist, you shall have one. How are you going to pay for it? Hey. <laughs> well, we shall have to make economies. What sort of economies? Well, I don't know. But I'm sure we should be able to think of some loot if you will stop all this nonsense. Well, uh... Right now, come on, then. Sit down. Sit down now. Now, now then. Just let's see. What major expenses have we this year? Well, you, you were going to buy me a new suit. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, well, do you really need it? Well, the one I've got is absolutely threadbare. Well, I mean, perhaps you could make it last a bit longer. I suppose I could, yes. But I... there you are, you see, Newt. Good. We've already saved some money. Yes, my lord, 25 pounds. Uh, no, Newt, 16. 
<laughs> but you said it was going to cost £25. I said nothing of the sort, Newt. I said it would look as though it had cost £25. <laughs> now, um, what about the, the laundry bills? Now, we ought to be able to cut down on them. Yes, I suppose I, I could wash my own charts. Oh, what a good idea, Newt. Now, that would save at least £10, I should think. Now, what other luxuries do we have? Sherry. You could cut down on Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I could, Newt, but I very much doubt whether the Archdeacon could. Oh, I know. What about your drinking chocolate? Oh, yes, my lord, I must confess that I'm rather fond of drinking chocolate. <laughs> well, Newt, I mean, we've all got to take our share of the sacrifices, you know. Yes, my lord, I suppose so, I suppose so. Yeah. Well, there you are, you see, Newt. Now, that's 16 pounds. Ten pounds, say five for your drinking chocolate, that's thirty-one pounds. Now, for that money, we could get a girl for at least two weeks. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, my lord. <laughs> not at all, not at all. I'll just nip off down to the agency. Come on. Oh, you won't need to go to the agency, my lord, because the Dean's niece is a typist. The Dean's niece? He said you could come do some work for her. Oh, did he? Well, the last thing I'm going to have, Newt, is that giraffe lolloping round my palace. <laughs> Yes, I'd forgotten she was a draft. <laughs> I will put up with a lot of things, Newt, but that is one thing I won't stand for. Oh, attend to that, will you? I want to go and see how the men are getting on with my telly. Right here. Oh, hello, Mr. Good morning, Newt. I've called to see the bishop. Have you brought your giraffe? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Well, I'm so sorry. No, your niece. I mean, <laughs> the dean said that you were going to bring your niece. Oh, of course I have. Yes. But this is... Felicity? Felicity, where are you? Here, Aunt Grace. I was just looking at the garden. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, this is Mr. Newt, the bishop's chaplain. How do you do, Mr. Newt? Oh, how do you do? Won't you uh, come in? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, Bishop, uh, do you know my niece? Oh, yes. Well, oh, well, that. Uh, usen't she to be taller? Oh, of course not. You must have met our other niece, Prudence. I'm Felicity. Oh, what a charming name. Yes, and now I look at you, I can see that you're not a bit like Prudence. Unfortunately, Prudence couldn't come to stay. She's a very sweet girl. Uh, oh, well, yes, in any case, I, I'm very delighted to meet you, my dear. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, it does make a difference, doesn't it, my lord? What, Newt? <laughs> not having any giraffes, Lord, being that <laughs> Oh, nothing, madam, nothing. It's just the dean mentioned to Newt that Miss Pugh Critchley... Felicity? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Felicity was at a secretarial college, and my chaplain wondered if you'd come along and do a little typing for him. Oh. Was this your idea? Oh, yes, it certainly was. But she can't work. She's on holiday. Oh, yes, but young women get very bored during the holidays, don't they? They certainly do. <laughs> but I've been to a great deal of trouble to see that this woman, young woman doesn't get bored. You have a list of engagements that will keep you busy morning and afternoon for a fortnight. Well, couldn't you come and help me during the evenings? Oh, yes. I'm free in the evenings. Well, you wouldn't mind if we worked at night, would you, my lord? Oh, of course not. <laughs> right. Then it's settled. When do I start? Well, how about tonight? Oh, you don't waste much time, do you? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I try not to. I try not to. But we're having dinner with the Chancellor this evening. Oh, well, couldn't I come on here afterwards? You can't. He's promised to show you his collection of mosses. Mm. And that always takes a long time. Mm. Well, it'll have to be tomorrow, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. I shall have to speak to your uncle. Now, come along. We mustn't keep the presenter's mother waiting. Uh, excuse me, sir. Your TV's working. Oh, Mars, what's it like? Reception's marvellous. Would you like to come and see? Yeah. Yes, I can. Excuse me, madam, would you? Uh, goodbye, my dear. I'm delighted to have met you. <laughs> can I show you out, Mrs. Pukrichner? Uh, television? Yes. Oh, the bishop's got a new colour television. Oh, yes. super. <laughs> have you seen it, Aunt Grace? Certainly not. You well, know your uncle's views on television. Do give my regards to the presenter's mother, will you? I, uh, I must just have a, a word with the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> There we are, sir. I think that's everything. Now, you're sure you know how to use the controls? Yes, yes, yes. Well, any problems, please don't hesitate to phone. Thank you very much. <laughs> good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lead away, lad. That's it. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Hey, oh. <laughs> Madam, I thought you'd gone. Yes, Bishop. I, 
I just wanted to say I've had an idea about the typing. Oh, indeed. Yes, I think I can arrange for Felicity to come round here after dinner this evening. Yes, but what, what about the Chancellor's mosses? Won't he be upset? I'm sure I can make him understand. Oh, well, in that case, Newt will be delighted. You'd better go and tell him. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what do you think of my television battle? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm afraid it's rather lost on me, Bishop. Uh, I don't care for all this sex and violence. Oh, well. <laughs> Newt! Newt, Mrs. Bukritchley has solved your problem. You are to come round here, my dear, after dinner. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Bukritchley. Uh, there you are, Grace. Uh, good morning, my lord. Good morning, Dean. Ah, my love, you, uh, you won't forget that you're lunching with the uh, presenter's mother. No, Lala, we were just leaving. <sighs> You've been arranging for me to come round here and type. Oh, excellent work. That's the stuff. Mm. You know, my lord, I'm surprised that... Uh, I'm surprised that you're having that thing repaired. Oh, it's not going to be repaired. Oh, excellent, my lord. Glad no, to hear he it. He doesn't need it now. He's got uh, now, Lala. Felicity. But, what? Don't yeah. chatter. No, <laughs> please. Uh, have you done the shopping, Lionel? Uh, yes, my love. What? Uh, who's that? <laughs> that is a large tin. <laughs> it's on your list. The baker sold you that. No, the ironmonger. <laughs> but I told you to go to the baker. Yes, but the baker would be hardly likely to stock a large tin. A large tin is a loaf of bread. A loaf? How can a tin be a loaf? You'll just have to go down to town again. It's early closing. Well, you'll have to hurry then, won't you? Come along, Felicity. I'll see you tonight then. Yes, I must say I'm looking forward to it. So am I. Felicity? Come here, Aunt Grace. Ah, well, good. She seems to have solved your problem. Yes, my lord, she certainly does. Now, come along, we mustn't waste time. Are we going to do the visitation retirement? Well, of course not, Newt. We must see what's on television. Come on. Oh, you're back from Ringmail, Archdeacon. Yes, yes. Is the, is the bishop in? No, he's very busy and he's given strict instructions that he's not to be discovered. Can oh. I give him any message? No, 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 no. I, I'll come back later. Ah, right. Yes. Oh, oh, oh by the way, uh, uh, Newt, uh, yes. how's your problem? <laughs> My problem? Yes. You know, the uh, pressure. <laughs> oh, so, yes. The uh, dean's niece is coming round to help me with it. <laughs> Gracious, does he know? Oh, it was his idea. <laughs> Bless my soul. Uh, <laughs> Coffee, my lord? Coffee, my lord? What? Oh, oh, thank you, Jess. Put it down, will you? I'll have it later. Ah. Are you sure you would? Don't want any dinner? Well, of course, Newt. I'm not hungry. But you've been here since the beginning of Watch With Mother. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know, but please keep quiet. Do you know, I haven't enjoyed myself like this for ages. Oh, that'll be Felicity. All right, well, go and let her in. Oh, okay. And Newt, Newt, yes, will you impress upon her the need to be as quiet as possible? Yes, of course, my lord. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Hello. How was the uh, Chancellor? Oh, rather disappointed I couldn't stay to see his mosses. Oh, yes. Well, won't you come in? Yes. Thank you. We'll go through into the study. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you must be as quiet as possible so as not to disturb the bishop. Yes, of course. And where is he? Oh, he is in the study. You see, he's watching television. In the study? Well, won't he be a bit in the way? <laughs> well, no, it won't interfere with the typing. It wasn't the typing. I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, come through. Well, Loot! Uh, would you mind going, my lord, please? Because I'm afraid we're terribly busy. Me? Mm. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Bishop. Oh, good evening, madam. Uh, can I help you? Uh, yes, thank you. You can take my cape. Uh, your cape? Are you, are you staying? Certainly. Well, what for? Well, I can hardly let my niece be out alone at this hour. 
Oh, oh, I see. Um, are we uh, to expect the dean too? Uh, no, Lionel's having a quiet evening at home. Uh, now, where is my niece? Uh, she's in the study with my chaplain. Ah. But you don't want to go in there, surely? Why not? The television is on. <laughs> then it must be switched off, Bishop. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Grace, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, someone has to see you home, Felicity. Um, Bishop, please. Oh, very well. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't think me narrow-minded, Bishop. Oh, no, no. Of course not, madam. <laughs> but one must stand by one's principles. Lionel feels very strongly about television. Yes, madam, I heard his sermon on the subject. That uh, program you were watching. The one I was watching, yes. I suppose it was full of um, violence. Not that I noticed. Well, what about uh, <coughs> S-E-X? <laughs> Madam, certainly not. Oh, that's what you tell me. Well, if you don't believe me, why don't you see for yourself? <laughs> that won't be necessary. But, madam, I can assure you it's perfectly all right. Nevertheless. This programme is perfectly respectable. Oh. Well, in that case... Ah! Uh, one moment. Felicity? Yes, Aunt Grace? Why don't you two take your work in the other room? Never for. So that the television won't disturb you? Well, of course it won't disturb us. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> Come on. Well, there's nowhere else we can go to. But there must be. No, you can go into the dining room. Well, I suppose so, yes. Now, madam, I can assure you that this programme is perfectly respectable. That's what you keep telling me, Bishop. Now, the dining room's over the oak down. No, I just, I just remember the table's laid for breakfast. Oh, well, isn't there somewhere else? No, not really, no. The uh, morning room is being redecorated and the conservatory is too cold. But there must be somewhere else in an enormous place like this. No, it's not really, no, just my bedroom. I thought you'd never get round to it. Come on. I'm bound to say I've seen nothing anyone could take exception to. You admit it? Yes. Though I've no doubt it would be quite a different story if we were to turn to BBC Two. But why? I hear they show some highly undesirable programmes. Oh, what nonsense, madam. I assure you it's all perfectly harmless. I can't believe that. Then, madam, why not see for yourself? Oh. Well, if you insist. <laughs> we were never going to get the visitation returns finished if we keep on moving around like this. Never mind that. It's comfortable here. Yes, it is much quiet, isn't it, Riley? Come and sit down. It's all right. I can tie quite easily standing up. <laughs> You're not still thinking about work, are you? Yes. Well, what else should I be thinking about? Well, what about ITV? I feel sure we shall find something on that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, would you please? Ah. <laughs> this looks more like it. <laughs> Disgraceful. <laughs> Hello, Dean. What can I do for you? I wonder if I might impose on you as a neighbour, my lord. In what way? Have you any bread? Bread? Yes, I'm having supper alone at home and there is no bread. Oh, well, I expect we can find you something. Yeah. Would you like to join your wife in my study? Grace? But she is at the Chancellor's. Oh, no, she's not, Dean. She's in my study watching television. <laughs> what? <laughs> Grace! 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 Uh, Lionel, uh, uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, and why are you watching television? Uh, the bishop made me. What? <laughs> I did nothing of the kind. I understood you to be at the Chancellor's. Uh, I was. I just came over to look after Felicity. Felicity, yes. Where is she? She's in the dining room with my chaplain. What? In a room, alone, with your <laughs> chaplain? Great Scott, I can assure you, Dean, that if she's with my chaplain, she's in very good hands. <laughs> I sincerely hope that she's nothing of the kind, my lord. I was going to find her. Yeah. You. Back to the chances to get him to show me his mosses. But what ever for? Because I think it would be more exciting. Felicity! Oh, Uncle Lionel. Where have you been? Only up to my bedroom. What? <laughs> Gracious heavens. No, 
Don't I told you to go into the dining room? Oh, well, we couldn't manage in there, my lord, because the table was laid for breakfast. <laughs> and the uh, conservatory was too here. Yeah. But uh, I have never heard anything like this in my life. Felicity, go home at once. Uncle Be quiet. And do as your uncle tells you. You too, Grace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dean, you're jumping to all the wrong conclusions. Do you deny, my lord, that your chaplain has taken advantage of my niece? Oh. My protest, I, I'm absolutely innocent, aren't I? No comment. Oh, <laughs> really, Dean, look at the boy. Can't you see he's telling the truth? Uh, well, perhaps I have been hasty. Anyone at home? <laughs> ah. Hello, Henry, dear old friend. What are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd uh, come just to have a chat. Well, I've had quite enough chat as it is. Thanks. Archdeacon, do you know my niece? Oh, no, no, but I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> it's Miss Bucritsley, the Archdeacon. Oh. How do you do, Archdeacon? How do you do? Congratulations, Newt. <laughs> Why do you congratulate Newt? Well, hasn't she come to help him? Not anymore, she hasn't. Oh, no, no, you can't go now. I, I couldn't manage without you. Oh. oh, well, if you really want me to stay... Oh, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. She may <laughs> stay, may she, Dean? I suppose I can't object. Ah. No. I would. <laughs> Good night, my lord. Grace? Uh, yes, Lionel. Come with me. Uh, but, Lionel... At once! Oh, well, well. Oh. well, let's go into the study and get down to it. Come along, Henry. I've got something I want to show you. <laughs> but we can't go in there if they're going in there. <laughs> oh, no, Henry. They won't disturb us. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, but we'll only be typing very quietly, I'll seek them. Typing? Who's talking about typing? <laughs> Henry, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, not typing, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Bucritsley's only come to help with the typing. Oh, then she's not your girl. Oh, good heavens, no. What a suggestion. <laughs> so funny. I mean, fancy him thinking that you were my... that you... Uh, um... <laughs> who knows this? <laughs> really, Henry, you do have the most extraordinary ideas. I'm sorry, Bishop. And so you jolly well ought to be. Now, come into the study. Yes, Bishop, are we going to have a little chat? No, Henry, I'm going to show you my new colour television. Oh. Are you coming, Newt? Oh. Uh, well, actually, no, I have changed my mind. Oh, why? Well, I think it might be too noisy in there, my lord. Oh, well, then where do you think of going? Back to my bedroom. <laughs> Lars, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Henry? Yes, Bishop? Do you think I can rely upon Newt's innocence? Oh, why, Bishop? Well, he's left his typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> Has he? Well, well, well. Uh, Henry, I, I don't think that I really can approve of this. No, and I don't think the Dean would either. The, the Dean? Oh, Henry, we've got to get him down. We've got to put a start. Uh, my Lord? Oh, I thought we were going to go and watch television. No, 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 no. What have you come back for, Newt? Oh, for my typewriter, my Lord. <laughs> I can't manage anything without this. <laughs> Henry, all is well. Yes, Bishop, I'm afraid so. Oh, Henry, you are naughty. Old man. Look, come on, come and see my television. All right. said something of the sort. Yes, it was very widely noticed. I had a most warm letter from Mrs. Mary Whitehouse. <laughs> oh, right, Dean. Now, uh, have you come to see the bishop? Uh, yes. Is he in? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Jay, I can't wait. I promised my wife to do some shopping for her. We have our niece staying with us. Oh, how very nice for you. That remains to be seen. Yes. <laughs> it means a great deal of extra work. 
And uh, having a young girl under one's roof is a great responsibility. Is there any message I can give the bishop to Yes, will you please tell him, note that my wife will call on him presently. <laughs> In order to present my niece. Really? Well, look, I'll tell the bishop as soon as he gets back from the staff bureau. Staff bureau? Yes. What's he doing there? Well, he's gone to get a typist, Dean. Well, indeed, I can't afford a typist. Well, frankly, the bishop didn't think he could either until he got his bank statement this morning. Then he discovered he got 50 pounds more than he thought he had. 50 pounds? That won't go far. Oh, well, is there only going to be a temporary typist, Dean? Uh, 50 pounds. That would be better donated to the fabric fund. <laughs> no, I've got to have a typist, Dean. Why? You type quite competently. Well, no, Dean, it's not that. You see, it's a sheer pressure of work. We're doing the visitation returns, mm. and I just can't cope. So the bishop has promised me a girl to help me with the backlog. Ha! Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Will you come and get it, please? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, I'm so sorry, Dean. I thought it was a man coming to collect the bishop's television. Oh, good. He's decided to get rid of it at last, has he? Uh, no, uh, no, no. It's just that it's broken and it's going to be mended. Ah, oh, pity. I had hoped that my recent sermon on the subject would have had greater effect. Oh, was that when you preached on the subject of television being a source of moral infection and an open drain? Ah, <laughs> you heard it. No, I didn't. 